Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial. In this video, uh, we're just going to explain, similar to what we have done in the past with text, but create another dialog uh, box with the option of a number. And this is just kind of neat. We're going to kind of go briefly over a lot of these things, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Sweet. So let's go ahead and open up. Oops, open up a new uh, Blender file here. Go into the scripting, click New. I'm gonna turn on those and make it bigger. Now you can see a little bit more of what is going on. Um, Sweet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, we're going to import BPY, and if some other prerequisites maybe you should watch is the other uh, one, as I'm not really going to go into a lot of the details of what all these things are, but as I type them, uh, type them along with me, and uh, if you know programming, maybe you'll be just fine and you'll understand what's going on. So, sweet. So, class, my class, actually, let's do create. Uh, my number class that sounds good and do bpy dot types dot operator bl underscore id name equals and we're gonna do dialog dot number uh, so this can be whatever you'd like to this needs to be here um, I'll just go through and explain some of these things as we go through class remember what this is or be able to reference it later and this has to be typed in just like this for it to work. Uh, for more information watch the other video and it will give you more information on what those things are. Uh, let's do bl underscore label this is required it's spelled just like that case sensitive and you can name this whatever you'd like to. This is going to be uh, or let me pull it so open again this is going to be our dialog like title so let me just maybe pull that over here. So let's just do number. That sounds cool with me. And now we're just going to do, we're going to have to set a variable. So I'm going to name the variable number is equal to bpy.props. Uh, this is just a Blender library that we're referencing. And the float property. OK, this is the important part. So a lot of this was all similar to my last, or to, yeah, my last video. This one, however, will change. Remember to change this to float property. That's mainly the biggest difference in here. Um, it changes it to this, where you can type in numbers instead of just type in words, uh, which is kind of handy because also you can't see it in this snapshot, but on the sides they have the arrows, or you can drag. So it's almost like a slider as well. And we'll just type in name equals number. A colon, yeah, like this. Uh, you can type whatever you like there. That's just this right there. Sweet. Uh, now it just comes the other stuff that we need to put in here as far as functions go. So execute. Uh, this is what will be executed when you type when you click on the OK button in the dialog menu. Uh, and I'm just going to return. This is what would happen inside like a terminal or this is like the output of what happens after you click the OK button and we're just going to put finished. It, you can put whatever you want but it doesn't really matter. Uh, define invoke and this is what this is how the dialog is brought up. This is what invokes it I guess is a good way to put it. Uh, context event. Uh, so self is the class for both of these. Self is the class up here. Context and event are all Blender, <coughs> their own Blender types. Uh, now we do return context dot window manager. Window manager is what pi what Blender uses to do to handle dialog boxes, and we just do invoke props dialog itself. So we want to invoke the props dialog for 
itself. I'm going to zoom out because I feel like that was a little bit too much. And we're going to come down here. So that's pretty much done. Uh, the only problem is we're not using it anywhere. So if you had to click run script, it wouldn't actually do anything. So all we got to do is just register it. Yeah, just like this. Uh, this right here is going to be the same as his register class. That's just what I said earlier. We're just registering the class into Blender. Uh, now we just do bpy.ops. Uh, my bad. So I should explain this one. bpy.ops, and then we need to do dialog. Number. You can just copy and paste that, or you can type it in, and just do invoke default. So now we'll just call this, it'll invoke it, and then as soon as you hit OK, it will run whatever you put in here. You could put create cube in here, whatever you want. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So let's just run the script. We have an error. <laughs> oh, okay, I think I figured it out. I just forgot this right here. So now we can just go ahead and click run script, and voila, it now works. Uh, hopefully you didn't have that same error that you caught it before I did. Um, yeah, so now we can use this as like a slider. Uh, whenever you hit OK, it will run this. Sweet. Hopefully you have had fun learning this. Um, hopefully it wasn't too rushed. But if you want to get more into details, I think the last video went a little bit more. Also, if you have questions, post in the comments. Um, stay tuned for more. I'm going to go in and do some more different types of properties and things that you can do within the dialog box because this is kind of a handy feature of Blender. Uh, thanks again and keep watching.